Today I'm gonna talk about some abilities that might be added in Valorant in the future. As we all know, Valorant is made by Riot Games, the same company that also made League of Legends. I personally started playing League of Legends since Season 2, more than 10 years ago. And I think this is a big reason why I also fell in love with Valorant. See, for the people who don't know anything about League, in League you also have tons of characters with 4 abilities each. And a lot of these abilities are very similar to the abilities from Valorant agents. For example, Six and Race. Six can throw a bomb down and jump just like the satchel. He can throw a small bomb that explodes, just like the first explosion of the race grenade. Six can put down the minefield, just like the second explosion. And with his ultimate, he drops a huge bomb, just like the showstopper from race. And this is just one example. You have the Heimerdringer turrets, the Echo ultimate where he teleports back in time, the Anivia wall, and tons of other examples. But here's the fun part. League of Legends has over 140 agents. That means 560 potential abilities that can be added in Valorant. In this video, I'll give my personal list of the abilities that I think are most likely to be added. Let's start with an ability of one of my favorite champions, Bart. With his W, he can put down a healing shrine. This small shrine will stay on the ground till he or a teammate walks through it. It will heal them and give them a small movement boost. A same kind of ability could be added in Valorant. At this moment, almost all the abilities you can lay on the ground are designed to annoy the enemy. You know, to slow them, spot them or even shoot on them. The only ability you can lay on the ground to buff your teammates is Brimstone Stim Beacon. So there is a possibility where the new agent can just lay some things on the ground on common spots where your teammates are standing and when your teammates or yourself needs it they can press f and get healed and maybe even get a fire rate boost a nice ability on the defending side or for the post plant the next ability that might be possible is the Cartus W. Cartus can place a wall down and when enemies walk through that wall they get slowed and they get a debuff. How I see this ability working is something like the Cypher Trap. You place your ability in between an opening and a wall will appear. Everybody can see this wall and it cannot be destroyed. The difference though is that the Cypher Trap debuff is extreme and only at one enemy, while this wall will affect all the enemies walking through it. But of course because we don't want it overpowered the debuff is much less. Maybe they get a small slow for one second or something. Or of course they don't don't get a debuff at all but they just give information to the enemies when they walk through. The next thing is another wall, this time from Talia. With Talia's ultimate, she can build a big wall where nobody can walk through. Of course, of course, we have a lot of walls already in Valorant. For example, the Viper wall, Astra wall and Sage wall. How I see this work is that you can place it down just like the Astra wall, only then not the whole map, but just a small part of the map. For example, over here on Haven. Just enough so you can block off the right side of C. Then push with five people and hope there's only one enemy on site and you can kill them easy peasy. This is a cool ability because you can lock off one person. The only counter is a teleport for example Chamber or Yoru. Or of course they have to take the time to destroy the wall. But pretty cool my friends. Another mechanic that some league champions have is the possibility to change form. Needly can transform in a puma, Jace can switch from melee and ranged, and Shifana can turn into a dragon. Of course in Valorant there probably won't be an agent that can turn into a dragon, but the possibility of transforming could very well be a mechanic. Maybe there comes an agent that can change into dark or light mode. Maybe the light mode is focused on defense, think about healing abilities and slowing abilities, and the dark mode is more focused on the offense. So this agent will have more quote unquote normal abilities and no ultimate because the ultimate is to transform. This way this agent can still be balanced. It will be a nice flex pick agent for every team comp. And by the way, if you think about an ability that might be added in the future, feel free to let it know in the comments down below. Since I'm a support main in League of Legends, an ability I really liked was the Janna ultimate. When she uses her ult, everybody who is standing close will get pushed away. Of course, it's hard to get close to the enemies in Valorant, so it will work a little bit different. Think about it as a brimstone ultimate. You can place it somewhere on the minimap. Then, if enemies are standing in it, they get teleported away. I think it would be a cool ability to know for sure that enemies are not camping in certain corners. Instead of teleporting the enemies, it might also be cool if you could teleport your teammates. Just like Ryze in League, he can teleport his whole team. So in Valorant, on the minimap, maybe you can place a circle over here, then a circle over there. Your teammates have 5 seconds to get inside the circle and then teleport with it. And yes, yes, I know, some people are maybe saying, huh, maybe the enemies could be on the other side of the teleport, so you troll your teammates. And that's exactly what happens a lot with Rise in League. But uh, still a cool mechanic, maybe one day it will be added, you never know. 
This next ability is a little bit less likely to be added, but I think it would be so cool. It is inspired by the Senna ultimate. In League, when Senna uses her ult, all her teammates standing around her will be invisible. It's like a smoke on top of her and she can freely walk around and the smoke will follow her. I see this in Valorant as an ultimate ability. When you press X, a smoke will appear around you and it will follow you. Just like the Viper ultimate, only then much smaller. Your teammates can also stand in your smoke, you can walk around and the enemies know that you are there because the smoke is following you of course, but they don't know how many teammates are with you. Of course, walking blind in Valorant is almost impossible, so what I think would be a cool mechanic is that the people from inside the smoke can see outside the smoke, but people outside the smoke cannot see inside the smoke. Of course, this would be very OP and that's why you cannot shoot through the smoke. And when you walk out of it, you have a small delay, just like the Reina E. This way, it still can be balanced in my opinion. A good use of this ultimate is of course when you want to push something. Maybe you want to enter with 5 of your teammates and find a good positioning, or you go all by yourself and let the enemies think you are with 5 people, but your teammates are sneaking in on the other side. Maybe, one day. Also, if you like this video this far, feel free to give it a like, it really helps grow my channel, thank you so much. Something that is not in Valorant yet is a point and click Molotov. Some people might think a point and click Molotov is extremely overpowered, but I think it might work. At this moment, Brimstone has a point and click smoke. It's just really convenient because you don't have to learn any lineups. And I think if it wasn't point and click but you had to for example throw something, I think it's possible to smoke exactly the same spots only now you need some lineups. So the difference that it makes is the skill cap. With the point and click Molotov it's possible to molly exactly the same spots only now the skill cap is lower. This type of ability is especially good for some newer Valorant players. Imagine if Valorant is your first shooter, it's hard to learn everything at once, shooting, movement and lineups, so this might help them. And to balance it out, maybe let it last a little bit shorter or let it do less damage. And maybe for a future Valorant ability, we can even take it one step further. In League of Legends, you have a champion called Rumble. With this ultimate, he fires rockets and it will lay down in a line. This could be a cool ability in Valorant. It's sort of a brimstone ultimate, only then does it less damage and it's in the form of a line. You could for example use it over here on Bind. To get rid of people camping. This next ability I don't really think fits Valorant, but it's possible. And it's some sort of a shield, just like Braum. I have no idea how it will work, but I saw that an agent in Overwatch had this shield. I don't play Overwatch though, I just saw it on some videos. So let me know in the comments if you think Valorant will add the shield and how it works. Maybe it will be some sort of extra wall, only then very small and you can take it with you. But I don't know, I think it will be very OP in Valorant. But you never know, in the future everything is possible. Now let's talk about another mechanic that is already in Valorant. I'm talking about suppressing. This mechanic is only available for KO. But I think in the future, a lot more agents will have abilities that can suppress the enemy. Just like we have multiple agents that can smoke, stun or flash the enemies. And especially in the future, when we get more agents with crazy abilities, the suppressing mechanic is essential. I'm afraid that in the future, the agents get so many crazy abilities that the games can be very chaotic. You see it now already. Sometimes you have like a Viper ult, an Astra ultimate and smoke from Brimstone and you just don't know where the enemies are anymore. So an agent who can suppress the enemies might be essential in every team comp in the future. But anyway, we will see. The future is bright, my friends. To end this video, I want to say that there's a small $25 gift card giveaway in the Discord server. And on top of that, you can vote for your favorite art during the art competition. You are the one who can decide who win the battle pass, my friends. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I see you in the next one. Peace.